what you doing? Oh, building a dust bath for the chickens. Oh. My wife asked for that, so. You're so sweet. Her wish is my command. Oh. Okay, that was overdoing it. That was overdoing it? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. The chickens don't have to have a, well, I don't really know. It's about dust bathing. So, they have just the regular ground or dirt that they poke and dig around in, but I wanted to give them uh, their own special little area that they could go into. And I'm, I'm gonna put like some contractors kind of sand in it or a real light fluffy sand and some diatomaceous earth and give them just a spot where they can go in and dust bathe. I've heard as they get older, the oils in the skin, on their skin get less and less. And so, but we all know dust bathing is really important for, um, <clears throat> that's how they clean themselves. And it also helps prevent, prevent mites and stuff. And I had a, a small one in there and I'd put wood ash in it, but they didn't seem to really like that much. I'm hoping they take to the sand Otherwise, I know they dig holes and fluff all in it, but we're trying to make a designated spot. So we had some old wood laying around the house and Ron is just making kind of like a little square box. I assume one chicken at a time. Don't you, honey? I never saw them together in the same hole. Well, that's true, you're right. Okay, smarty pants. So it's not a fancy box. It's just a little box built out of some old, um, Old wood we had laying around. is more than enough. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <clears throat> Maybe I'll hunt in the back tonight. You could. Yeah. I like that. Oh. Hey, Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt. You checking it out already? Here, babe, I'll hand this to you because yeah. I can't really get down there. There you Thank go, you. sweetie. So, and then I still pour a little bit in it. <laughs> okay, I gotta put music there now. Oh. Yep. Uh, you wanna put some on the top too? Yeah. Should we have another bag, you think? No. One more bag? Let's see how they do this, honey. Anything you have left, I can just sprinkle on the ground out here, babe. Oh, I won't have anything. Oh, else. okay. What do you think, ladies? Hmm? You getting a new place to bathe? Hmm? What do you think, Wyatt? Hmm? 
Are you being quiet? Are you gonna go check it out? Please go check it out, Wyatt. Take a bath in it, please. Are you gonna peck at the shine pine shavings? Huh? Okay, dust bath complete. You must have treats. Oh, these two over here, these three are going to go crazy. They can't get to the other side. Did he throw you some treats? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You guys are crazy. I'm surprised they're all still in. Yeah. <laughs>
I don't know. Just seems like it needs more. Go ahead. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I know. That's all I can do is squish bugs with my leg. This is another area I need to come in here and get this stuff out so I can chip that wood up and then rake this out nice. Okay, well, we'll have a look when he's done. Okay, we got three of them in. And our muscadines over here are going nuts. So we're gonna put, uh, Ron's gonna put a cattle panel along the back and we're gonna train it there. Because it used to go up and over and it just was a mess. So we're trying to clean this area up. Good job, babe. You're welcome. Okay. Now it's time to take care of the goats. <laughs> they love their little cookies, don't they? Oh, yeah. He's not a goat. But he's not a goat, but he gets extra because he's... Five times the size? Yeah, and he needs that energy for staying up tonight. Turbo's hanging out the. Look at their little bellies. Honey. Yes. Is there any way you can get the clipper? Yes. For the goats? Yeah. Yeah. And do you need hay? Yeah. Okay, I'll drive and get those things for you and I'll be right back. to get the goat clippers yep we need this because we've got a wasp nest in a tire and I'm gonna take a treat for turbo he doesn't know it yet cucumbers Ron got off the vine tonight clippers treat wasp spray oh I need this I'm going to fill that up with hay for Ron. Okay. All right. Let's go to the barn. Get some hay. Look at this wood. Is that wood amazing or what? A friend of ours gets it free where he works, so he brought us a load. Let's go to the barn and get his hay. That poor fig tree. That's the tire that's got the waspness in it. So. There's the rest of our hay back there. We got it up on pallets. This one here is the last of the. I don't know exactly how much he needs. Get that string out of it. Oh, I'll take some of that loose. That should be enough, don't you think? on Hi, Tucker. Hi, Tucker. I got a special treat for the boy. Hey, Tucker. It's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Tucker, come here. He's like, heck no, you're not getting my bone. I wonder if he's burying them or eating them. I don't know, because I gave him yesterday one too. 
I didn't know that. Go Darn it. Yeah, I got the clippers. Uh, here they are. I don't want to go in there with my knee still. That's fine. Tucker was a little rough on it. Which one are you doing? Whoever I can get. Oh. Okay. okay. He, he looks pretty comfortable over there in this little resting spot with his bone. Oh, oh here comes. Here he comes. Not you. <laughs> Turbo, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. He's like, what are you doing to my friend? What you doing to my... Expecting a lot of rain here very soon, and so we're going to be putting some fresh straw down in their bedding because we want to make sure that they've got a place to be where they're dry. And if it does happen to get chilly because it's cold or yeah, cold, damp, we want to make sure that they're dry. So we're really, you know up here and turn around. I think it's easier. Fresh straw. It's fine. Isn't that what you said, or did I do it wrong? You did it wrong. Right? What did you want? The rake. So we shave uh, But I can do that tomorrow. Oh but my tomorrow goodness. it's going to be soaking wet. That's the reason. Do you want me to go get the rake? Yeah. Okay. You like to drive anyway. Why don't you drive with me? We don't need that straw. Okay. Let's take the straw back and get the rake. You need a break anyway. I'm not. I shall have to mow there. Huh? I still have to mow there. Mow? Yeah. Oh, oh you're going to mow that down? Yeah. Like, why would you do that? And, and then I'm going to resheat it. Oh, okay. Okay. We're on our way to take the straw back, but Ron's going to spray the wasp. Just 
<laughs> you want me to hit you with a sleep break? You're so slow. It's not Look, even... honey, give me a break. I just had knee surgery. I think I thought I was doing pretty good. Two weeks ago. Yeah, push. You're running a marathon. Running now. a marathon. What? Come on. I'm coming. Hey, Missy. Hey, Cotton. Where's Missy? Oh, yeah. there she is. Hi, girl. Hi, Missy. Hi, girl. You guys see her down there? Hi, girl. Yeah. Hi, Cotton. Anything else that we had to do? Not you. What did you have to do? I got to mow my foot plot. You're gonna mow, mow it? Yeah. With the lawn mower? Yeah. Did you put the new wheel on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, the last chore for me then. And maybe for me too. Yeah. Okay. So I like the filming, eh? Yeah, I don't mind to film while I capture some stuff. It's been. A, a while since I've been able to do a video. We love these gate latches. Love them. This hay on the ground here that you see Ron raking up, it's all the hay that the goats pull, pull out of their hay, their feeder, spill on the ground, they poop on it, pee on it while they're eating. So you cannot pick the hay up off the ground and put it in their hay feeder because they won't eat it. I know it seems like a waste, but what we're doing is we throw it in for their bedding, also in there, and then when we clean the house out, their home out, we throw it all in the compost. <clears throat> oh, it smells good in here. Yeah. Well, it'll keep them dry and everything when this, these, I think it said, what, 10 or 11 days of rain coming? Yeah, expecting. Yeah. So, and we already filled up the chicken feeders and we've already filled up. Um, and don't forget Tucker sleeps here too. Yeah, Tucker will sleep in there too. And we filled up the chicken feeders. We filled up the waters. So, I mean, we're good, preparing as much as we can. Okay, do you need to throw more in there? Or is that it? No, I got a little bit more. Okay. If there's not too much, we can throw it on the compost. Maybe you could rake over here outside their house too while you're at it. Uh, no. Yeah, it might be a good idea. They don't seem to mind laying in the hay with their little poop in it, but they won't eat it. But, wow, look what it's doing to the ground over there. Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? Are you gonna rake what's in front of their water dish? Or are you just doing that? No, that's too wet. I gave them oh. yesterday water. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then next week, yeah. get everything out. Yep. Put fresh straw in it. Yep. We have to get some straw, by the way. Yep, we can do that. Let's rake outside the box here. There's good straw that they might could nestle in too. Only take a second. Shall I hold the camera? I can't go in there, Ron, or you know I would be helping you. You know it. Honey, the strawberry. From where we had them planted? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Can goats eat strawberries? Doesn't hurt them, does it? No. Okay. And I'm gonna have to come in here eventually. Tucker pulls up big sticks and stuff and chews on I them. I know he's a dog. I know he's a dog, but we don't want it to look like a ratty 
dog or goat area, we want it to look nice. And so part of that is what we're doing right now. Oh. They'll get in there and pack all that down. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'm done. Yep, I don't blame you. What are you saying? Tomorrow morning we have to get up uh, a little bit earlier than normal out. Clean out uh, the water from the chickens and put some vinegar in it. Yeah, but isn't it supposed to start raining in the middle of the night? Yeah. Should we just do it now? No. You want to do it in the rain in the I morning? Yeah. Really? Doesn't matter. But they have good. They still have good water. Oh yeah, they have clean. But if water. it's really thunder booming and lots of rain and everything, you want to be in the rain doing it? Let's. We could just do it tonight and then it's done. That could be our last chore. No, I go inside. You had enough? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, it's Ron and Rochelle Rose, automotive, or automotive. <laughs> we'll start again. That's our other business, um, Legacy Home and Garden. And we have been home from work for a little bit and we've kind of taken you around with us so you could see what we do in the evenings after work. Tonight we had a little bit extra with tarps and stuff because we're expecting a lot of rain. Yes. So we had to do some stuff. Gonna start in the middle of the night and by the time we wake up, gonna be 100%. Yeah, so the only thing we didn't do was fill the chicken water all the way to the top. They have plenty of water, so that's not it. We were gonna do that, but we decided. Maybe still later. Maybe, yeah, maybe later. But for now, we're done. We appreciate you coming by, hanging out with us, and having a look at what we do in the evenings when we come home from the office and um, take care of our animals. That's, yeah? Yep. Okay, thanks. Thank you.